I recently posted a video on the new features and functionality for SolidWorks structures in 2020. I may have gotten a little overboard in my excitement regarding this tool, but it's not completely unjustified because this tool represents an order of magnitude improvement in capability and efficiency in an area that SOLIDWORKS was already really good. So today, we're going to take a look at a critical step you need to take to be able to use this new functionality. SOLIDWORKS Structures takes advantage of the configurations capability within each SOLIDWORKS part file to manage weldment profiles which makes managing those profiles much easier, but it also means that you have to convert your current weldment profiles housed in individual template files to configured profiles. We're going to go through this step-by-step -step process so you can start utilizing this new functionality as soon as possible. We're going to start with a current profile managed through individual template files, in this case the scheduled 40 pipe template. First things first, let's save this out to a temporary location. Depending on your permissions, SOLIDWORKS might not let you save a file to your weldment profiles directory, so you're going to have to save it to your desktop and move it over to the weldments directory later. Let's take a look at how this profile sketch is defined. We can see it's got an ID and OD dimension defining the pipe wall thickness, which is fine, so we'll leave this alone. Moving over to the Configuration Manager, I'm going to rename this configuration from default to something specific for this pipe size. This is important because the SOLIDWORKS structure system is going to use this configuration name to identify the weldment profile. Now that we have that done, let's create the rest of the pipe sizes I want to use in my design work. Now I can create individual configurations for each size and manually change the pipe dimensions for each configuration, but if you remember back to your SOLIDWORKS Essential course, we're going to tackle this using a much more efficient method the configuration table. Right clicking on the first dimension I want to configure and selecting configure dimension will bring up the configuration table. Double clicking on the second dimension will add it to that table. Let's name the table and save it. Now with my handy engineering toolbox reference up I can start adding configurations for my pipe profile directly in the configuration table. On a side note if you haven't yet I encourage you to check out engineeringtoolbox.com. We're not in any way affiliated with the website, but it has pretty much replaced most of my old reference texts. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoy thumbing through old texts as much as the next guy, but if I need a thermal or friction coefficient or a common material property for a hand calc and I'm in front of my computer, nine times out of ten, I'm headed here for it. With my configured profile template complete, I'm going to save and close this file. In a Windows Explorer window, I can now move this file to the location with my other weldment profiles, and it's ready to use. Keep in mind that the same rules apply for this new weldment template as any other custom template. I always recommend saving your custom templates outside the SOLIDWORKS installation files so this is one of those do what I say not what I do moments. With that file saved in the reference location it's now available to use within the SOLIDWORKS structure system and you're ready to roll with this new time saving functionality within SOLIDWORKS. Guys I hope you found that tech tip useful if you did please hit the subscribe button down below to be kept up to date with the latest in SOLIDWORKS news from MLC CAD systems. If you want to learn more about putting this or any other time and cost savings tool within SOLIDWORKS to work for you, reach out to your local MLC CAD systems representative. And as always, thanks for watching.